Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. I'm Bruce Mullen, and today we are continuing on with some more spell road. Get we're ready. Doing Zar, we're doing the loadout D, which pretty much relies on having um, maybe going Riker Radiant or applying lots of weak, and maybe we'll do something with one of those. Probably the Radiant, but we've done a lot with those in the past. So, it'll be kind of an issue thing. Been playing this a little bit in my downtime as well, like messing around with some of the later difficulties also, trying to see like what is good, what isn't good. Um, got a lot of countdown stuff already. Hmm. To be honest, rolling die could be really good. Sorry, I got the hiccups now. I'll be uh, cramming food into me, and now I got suffering the hiccups. You know, which is its own problem, is it not? So, what I do with this is I basically reduce the die cost, and then I roll like a one or a three, which you know isn't bad. So I can do that. Take a bit the kill on that, and then I guess that's kind of it. That's what we do. But yeah, the object is to kind of, with this setup, is to, yeah, reduce the cost of everything that you do here, right? Um, just kill that. And then use the small loaded die to go into the um, firelight to give your defense. Don't know if that's really that productive, because, like, I always go against it every single time I ever do it. <laughs> Just because I'm an idiot. Um, combustion, I do like combustion. And with rolling 10 die, that could be pretty good to get this down on repeat. And then just like casting it three times a turn. Right? Or helping to get this cost down. Chaos bolts are like it for the scaling, but, you know. Either we have scaling or we don't. We don't have scaling, so combustion is. Right? Uh, lose the potion, gain an artifact. I will take that. What do we get? Every tenth spell applies two days. That's not bad. And I could have a double elite fight, which we will try and go for. Then. Yes. Yes, we will. So, with the shard, what do we want to do with it? For now, nothing. Um, just, ir it's irrelevant. I don't need to go anywhere. I don't need to, like, increase power. It's more just of, like, I need cards and stuff to think about where this build's going to go first. Right. What's nice, this is just roll. So I do like that about it. Hmm. Bastion's already working its magic. Uh, already working its magic. So this was always going to be the issue I'd, I'd probably end up having, where I couldn't cast something. That was the more or less issue that I end up going to have at some point with, like, these particular set of spells. I get another three, because of, yeah. I think I've got the kill. That's all that matters. Like, this setup just seems to be a lot less aggressive compared to the rest of the setup as, as a bazaar or... Um... I do this on a three roll one die, or should you gain more armor? To be honest, gaining the more armor is probably more important. And then sometimes I get a benefit on the three rather than getting a bigger benefit a third of the time. I get a benefit consistently. Infused shield is really good, I think. This uh, it's like, cause like I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can always get 10 armor, right? I can always get 10 armor now. 
and that is kind of important to me. You know, and sometimes I will get to kind of just put more into it. So, like, if I put a three in there, I always get, th like, more armor again. So, it is why I like it. Now, kill that off. I don't want to get any sort of weakness and stuff. We do not want to worry about it. And I guess, yeah, we just shove the rest into combustion. Yeah, but I mean, how do you guys think about this game? Like, I really like it on its style, its aesthetic, its aesthetic, like everything else as well. I think it's just like really well done. I don't think there's any issue with this game overall, in my opinion, right? But that could just be me. You know, I, I, I'm not an idiot. I, I do know when I can be blind, and I can quite easily be blind with this game. Just because I like the way that it's set up, and it keeps the randomness going with the dice that you have available, rather than it just being kind of like... Um, essentially exactly how Stay the Spire setup is, where it's just like, yeah, you continuously will keep having... that particular issue consistently. Right. And just deal damage. No need armor or anything like that. Get this down so we can least start using it also. That's six. So yeah, like this, I actually do have, like, straight away the full shield. Like, with just this, 15 block done. Which is insane when you really think about it. And like this here, like I just instantly got that just from like two die by themselves. I will chuck this in there, see what we get back out. Because like two twos there, give me a roll still. And I might like got some of the other other outs as well. See, this is why I don't like fire light at the moment, triggering random stuff for me. Cool. Uh, we'll trigger this. 16 damage, 16 damage. And... Yes, get that lower. You gotta love what the game doesn't want to let you earn. There we go. I was thinking the game was going to sit there and just give me all ones, and I wouldn't be able to trigger this on this turn, and I'd be really annoyed. That's just with the dice roll sometimes. See, Ashen Plating is another one that I think could be good, but I've already got a decent setup with what I currently have, so I don't really care about it. Um, dealing damage and having the option to have Bane fire on the pleat is really nice. And we're not really using it for the damage, but the Bane fire more or less, which would take away a hot spot for me. I think. Right? So just use this to set the Bane fire up, because I will always deal 5 damage at the end of the turn, and then consistently keep doing that to the front enemy. Which does give me passive damage, which I technically don't have otherwise, right? So yeah, let's pick up Inferno. Now, I could go straight to 5, but I can't deplete it quickly enough, so we're going to increase the damage of it instead. So I can consistently get that deplete off. I think that's better. Do to go shop here. Yeah, we'll go shop. I could get a relic, but I'd rather go shop to see what's available. Um, I tried Grimrite a few times. Not much of a fan. Kindle I like because it allows me to continuously keep going. I will buy that. And we'll sell Hotspot. And also Firelight. They're both gone. And then we'll choose an artifact. 
deal damage equal to twice the round number of all and to all enemies. Okay, so damage scaling. First attack deals plus three damage, deal twenty damage on turn one to a random enemy. So if I believe I can defend well enough, I really shouldn't worry about that because my scaling will just take over, which is what I know what we're planning for, so we'll do that. Yep, we'll leave. Let's take the fight. I think I need just one more defensive tool. I think. Right? I believe that is what I need. I don't need to defend here, so there's no worry about that. I guess we'll just deal five damage twice. We get good setup on that. I check the two into here to roll the dice, see what we get. We get a four on the top end, and just set that up. But the other thing as well is with this and the fact that I only have two die that can actually trigger themselves as such. Like, this is going to happen quite a lot, where I can just do this. Number three goes straight into there. We get a one back. The two goes to Kindle. Get the two one. No, so we can put the one and the one. We get a four back. Check that into there. Maybe Inferno would have been alright to cast with the... Um, the extra vein fire and casting it three times but yeah it's turns like this where I think it probably wouldn't have been effective right I mean he is dead anyway because I have four they have three life and <laughs> uh... that's the other bit look at this like I can just cycle the die so easily through that that's funny Didn't need to, but showing the coolness of what we're coming up with, really. Hmm. For each week on a foe, we don't reapply week, so that's kind of irrelevant with super heat. Short die, gain four block for each die destroyed. Zeal of the sun, kind of interesting. Gain radiant. Hmm. Not a fan. And charcoal dagger. I do like this, because it could give me a way to dump ones, like late game and stuff, and like other things, but I'm going to reroll. Hmm. I do get quite a lot of good copies, and you know, to gain power could be pretty useful. A critical is useful in the sense that it works with combustion quite well. Hmm. I do like blood waters right now. We're going to take gathering flames. It could be... It could be the sort of utility card that I need, right? Because right now I just need one more defensive tool and then a scaling tool. I think is the other bit, but I, I have like scaling here and here, so it's like it's not like it's essential or anything for this particular setup. Uh, we'll get some defense. Another three, that's brilliant. I want the fleet to start gaining that, and then we'll move on. Like, the Inferno plus this on Carl's Memory is um, good enough for my scaling purposes, right? I don't need to worry about anything else other than those. So... So why actually worry about it? Because 
essentially I get enough from the tools I already have available, so I don't need to push myself to do anything silly as such. Now, this is one of the issues I was going to always have, right? At some point. We'll do this, because again, it takes to kill long. Yeah, I think actually my scaling is probably fine then. Just more and more turns. I probably need defensive tools more than anything else. Fickle barrier. I do like a fickle barrier. Open a slot up. So this requires at least two setups for the meantime. I'm not using it just for the critical, I'd be using it for both the power gain as well. It's just the way that it will end up working. So I would I would want to like put two one ones in there all the time or something. Uh just give you some max health here. I get more of the max health and the healing, so that's where we'll go. Let's move on. Boss fight time. I'm not too sure how I'm going to deal with um, hordes of enemies, though. That is the issue I currently have. Uh, two can go in there because you need to defend. The two fours and the one. I guess, I mean, Carl's memory will... <laughs> In Carl's memory, he will save us. Oh, a force drop. Wow, that's nice. Three can go there. That three can go there. We go to two. Shut that in the fickle barrier. Um, do one of those there. One of those there. Set more defense up and I put that in there because I was thinking to myself, like, if I get like a two or a three, I actually can use more out of it. So, yeah, so eventually, like, with this setup, I don't need to worry about anything else because I can just um, keep myself fully defended at all times, right? Like, this will always kill these now. No matter whatever happens. Now, whenever combustion does go off, like it's going to reduce its capabilities. So, yeah, do I really need to scale any more than that? Probably not. one back. Let's put that in there, because it doesn't make a difference on my uh, reroll. A little bit disappointed I didn't manage to get... Oh, that just dies anyway now. But we'll just fully defend ourselves up. Would have looked to get the Inferno off, but we roll badly. And that's it. Easy boss fight. I don't know, have we done a Bane Fire run? I think it might have been like a sub way of doing damage, but this is kind of like a, the main way we'll do damage now. Hmm. Giving everyone power or reducing the cost of my die. Do I need sixes that much? Not really, like that would be nice. Ones can't be recycled just yet, but they could be in Gathering Flames. So having two Vex die, which minuses X value from one of the die is something I can just kind of like leave it. Maybe. Or I could use it to my advantage. Hmm. That's it. We'll, we'll take it. I think the Hex Robes is kind of it's one of those ones that I don't think the downside is actually a downside in some cases. Like, it's actually a benefit. 
Uh, switch bow and inventory. Don't really care about that. Although it is kind of interesting. <laughs> Should I do it? Because essentially what I end up doing is swapping out like Kindle or something for the Gathering Flames. Like once you've got yourself set up. But then I guess I won't need that. Um, just to deal some more damage. No, I'll just take the Soul Grasp, I think. Like 50 damage after three turns is pretty massive. And we go two or two and a shot. I guess we're going two and a shot because we get a lot of good stuff out of that way. He got lots of good stuff. But yeah. I mean, to be honest, I'm, I'm doing this, uh, recording this while I basically should be asleep because I just cannot sleep at the moment. So, this is where I am. Being wide awake at night. Ooh, a four. That's pretty good. Um... I'll just chuck the one here, see if it does give me something better. It does not. Five goes here then. And there you go. Man, that's just plain evil. Um, gave me a three, that's good enough. I don't need to defend here, so that's fine. Ha. You can't take value from something that doesn't exist. And... Don't need to fickle barrier or anything. I guess we just dump everything into here then. Yeah, Inferno is actually really interesting. Like with its own scaling and stuff. Never thought about it before like this. Never thought about it before. I mean, that is just game though, but... <laughs> yeah, I think it's probably helping with Carl's memory though, because it gives me a bit of AoE to make sure I deal with this stuff. Burn both ends. Three damage to a random enemy. Feet. I lose four health. Hmm. I like that idea. I really do. Um. Healing. Not really something I need. Applying weak for each die spent. Probably isn't bad with the super heat. I can increase it so it has more to put in there, and then I can apply more weak, or I can increase it easier with just more die. But the thing is, just with it being a countdown, I've got this. That's not a great idea. Same for the co uh, co yeah, convalescence. Channel mana. You were really the thing I was looking for. You really were. So, channel mana is the answer that I kind of want here. Just got to go get another shard. We can use that. Um, crystal heart, don't care about it. A shield rune, give two plus two block. Hmm. Plus eight damage, but minus one charge. I mean, that's good on the inferno rune. Uh, for the inferno. Like, it just does more damage, and I get the deplete quicker every single time. I can use this other stuff to go other things. I mean, this just being able to cast twice, but getting it 8 extra damage is kind of interesting, because it'll just do the same thing anyway. Right? Essentially, I mean... It, it, like, late, late game, it won't make a difference, right? So it's kind of, like, not that interesting. But, like, early game, it's kind of good. 
I think I'm just dumping this on Inferno. Pay the 60 gold and just go straight to Inferno. Like, for that is not really that great for me. But the Dominance Rune. Or should I just go Shield Rune? Because this or this, just gaining more, is a lot better, right? That way I can be defensive. Uh, I, I, I went the more interesting route. <laughs> All I care about is the Inferno getting used in some way, shape, or form, right? I don't care how it gets used, I just care that it gets used. Hmm. Now, give me another die. Use that there, attack the first guy. Roll here again. Four goes there. Put the six in. That's a one. It wasn't about the damage, it was about the fact that I can just put one die in this and gain the Banefire effect, right? Oh uh, man, I do stupid stuff all the time. It's just hilarious that I always end up doing this thing. Yeah, look at that, like 15 damage just for the 5. To trigger that. It makes no difference in order which way I do this, they both come out terrible. But you're gonna lose 25 life, and you get to get killed. <laughs> Okay, now I kind of wish I went the other way and got the more bane fire scaling. I'm not going to deny that. Uh, lethal heal. Magma skin. Pyrohide's interesting, but it's just retaliate damage. It's not that great, to be honest, compared to, like, other things. I guess I'll reroll here. Like, 7 damage and weak is not that great either for what we're trying to do. Don't want to roll wound. Sun shield. Odds a gain block. And then I get the radiant choice. I'll pick it up. I mean, it's more flexible than the, th the fickle barrier at the moment, which is why I'm picking it up. Casting a target spell, like combustion, just reduces its countdown quite a lot. Well, all of them will just trigger, well, two of them will trigger both two of those, so you only have two of them that can be triggered. So yeah, I think Red Candle. We shall take Red Candle. Why not? See how things go. Because like this, will always um, minus both of these, or even if it just hits one of them, it's still good, right? Uh, we get a three. So we use this, gain some defense first. Check that next, it's odd. Oh, another three. Nice. That gives us the radiant. Back that guy. And there we go. Get to end the turn. I mean, it's not about the weak, it's about making sure I get the trigger. This is kind of where I wish the Inferno was just a one up. I, you know, I hadn't done what I did. But. So, this will get hit twice anyway, so it will die of the main fire plus this 
in theory, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I have a sense of panic now about my own math. Um, we'll deal the damage anyway to make sure. No, so I want to do this. Turn it to one. Yeah, cool. Okay, so it does do the damage independently. So as long as, like, it, if it is the first one, then that's fine. I always take it out. A two. Okay, that's for three. We've got a one. That's another one. So one. One. Put another three in there. We've got two twos. Attack that. You are the real one, my friend. They have figured you out. Not that I need to worry about it, though. Man, this runs a lot better than I thought it was. Okay. Blinding Brilliance. Seems great, but yeah, having an extra charge and stuff and larger cat down is not great. Not what I want. Um, Outlaws, no, no, no. Guess we'll just re-roll these. Ooh, Phoenix Ward. Hmm. Or incinerate. I mean, the, the, the die destruction is kind of interesting, but it'll always give me five block, and then the radiant is what I'd end up using it for. Then Ember, this uh, destroying a random die. And just give me like three ones or whatever is really good. I do get fours, I can make fours easily as well. Hmm. I mean, I would probably end up going for the Radiant, because it would be nice to keep the Radiant going in a way. Then, what am I getting rid of this for? Sun Shield, pretty much, wouldn't it? But I could increase this to three anyway, and it's still more useful than having to get two die to go into it. I'll pick it up because it's worth more money to sell, which I might end up selling it here. Increase block on. Interesting. Roll three die. Roll die, gain up four sight. Hmm. Nothing really stands out here again. This one charge a destroyer random die. See, see that would be pretty good. Nah, I don't like anything there. It's nah, Phoenix Ward's not that great. And now with the setup that I've got, like, Bickle Barrier is kind of a little bit of a letdown. Because I should get enough block for what I need to do. Going forwards. And then I'm probably not going to use Gathering Flames either. Turn 3, gain 4 power. At the end of each turn, if less than six counts pass gain of foresight, not happening. Um, keep ten block. I will take that. I would like to keep ten block if I've overblocked. Would we'll just mean blocking is a lot more useful. Ah, the danger guy. Interesting. Uh, we have a two, we got a three, we got another three, a four. That goes 
goes in there, we'll trigger that. Roll that two, X that four. Trigger that in there. Put the six in there, see what happens there. Ooh, get to use this straight away. I've already fully blocked, so getting the radiant is more important. <laughs> Sometimes I think this game really just wants to annoy me as much as possible, right? I genuinely think that. Nice. Fully defended. Okay. So we'll just do this first. That triggers both of those. One can do this one now. Take your 16 damage. Um, roll this first, see what we get. This gives me a one. That's why I'm doing it. Interesting. Yeah, gotta remember that with the radiance. With the, sorry, the, the, the radiant with the brilliance and stuff like that. Because they can actually get quite a lot out of it. And now we'll roll on those. Yeah. I like that. Into dodge, game one critical, plus three. Throw that away. Two dodge is really good. That game plus one though. I mean that giving one. Ah, oh, there's so many different choices, it's very frustrating. I don't need to care about that being a one or not. Like it doesn't make much of a difference. I think I don't need this to be triggering that much. Like, this and this do the same thing. As far as the setup goes, right? I need this for the extra block. This is to keep my top-up going. This is part of my shielding. This, again, is for the Bane Fire. This would give me more Bane Fire as well. Max health. I'm not sure if I like the change on the idea that um, you can heal, then re-roll a spell, like at a less cost. <laughs> like I don't see the point in it overall, but eh. That's just me, right? So yeah, like here I can just get one and trigger the radiant with it or just get some block or just get two which is kind of what I'm going to do here I don't care if you give me weak it's absolutely fine so like here I can do this change up to a two which then goes into that to give me whatever shielding and then more shielding So I can really ramp this up, which is kind of what the plan will be. Three, three, four, put the four in there, deal the damage. That way you're not doing the thing I don't want you to do. The 
joys and the fun of min-maxing everything. Just min-max everything. We always keep 10 block, that's pretty good. Okay. Roll that first, but then now we get another two, roll this again. It's another three, get more block, because I'd rather have block here. I guess I'll take one, just to deal the damage. And you can shift yourself back. Brilliance goes off, that's good. No, I don't really want to get any more um, critical on me, that's the problem. Otherwise it will just stay around for too long. But, as long as I don't cast anything, we're all good. I think one of the good changes is the um, if you've got leftover die, they destroy themselves thing. Like that's a massive change, which is super important. Um, that's dying anyway, it's just this, so yeah. I don't need to be too aggro on it. Operation put three in there. Put two in there. Let's say there's only one space that would land that'd be bad for me. Normally it's where it would always land though. One. Two. We get a four. Chuck the four in there. Deal that damage there. I can use this four to make a one. Which can go in there. We roll out to a three. How delightful. make you lose lives to switch forms, so... Uh, I should probably defend it a little bit more. But I think we're good. Like this, this fight actually wasn't too bad. My Banefire alone is good enough to kill most things off. <laughs> uh, I do suck it quite well now. Um, No, the sap would be terrible. Dreadstone, though, is fine, I think. Extra die. Spells to cast, all that. Jazz. Oh, and it's him. So, do I need anything else? It's like, channel mana would be great, but I'm only, the only reason that for the countdown difference is not the Radiant. Like, that's the difference in there. Like, yeah, I get one more Radiant, but I'm not using it for the Radiant. But with these set up, I get the best of both worlds, right? Um, a shop would be nice. Do we have a late shop? We do have a late shop. Is it on the way to this place I want to go? Uh, I don't have a choice of avoiding an elite fight, so... I guess we'll accept the one elite fight we have to take. Failing to sleep is a favorite past on mine, to be honest. It's like, yeah, I don't need to go to sleep. I can just relax. I can do whatever I want. Um, I need to deal damage to make sure we take some stuff out quickly. Right. That's the one I want to take out. Like, that's got days on it. So, stack is reduced. Nice. 
Check that in the sun shield just so I get more defense from it. That goes there. Get a two, we can reroll that. A four. Two. Three goes there. Five goes in there. And the one goes there. And we're done. Ah, really? I see. Just uh, checking this at me, are we now? I can use it. I don't have to worry about it too much, right? He said. Problem as I have now is this is always going to um, get that bonus, which is very frustrating. That three in there, put that in there. Move that across there to get another three and a three. Delightful. Because eventually we will get this countdown down to like nothing over time, but chances are my Bane Fire will be too strong by that point to even matter, so. You know, it's one or the other kind of thing. Still on the two zone. There we go, that's fine. So I can do this to make sure we kill this thing off. I'm just not happy with it, considerably giving this thing the block. Let's get the defense. Get some more bane fire. Would love to deal damage to you, but I can't do it without targeting. Which is extremely annoying. And I don't need to do anything else, do I? So it's in turn. I do anything more there probably would cause me more issues than anything else. There we go. Nice and simple, that fight. Now we we'll roll those. The cop arrow is back. Uh, we'll take that for the selling. Much more useful. Still have not like used any of my potions. Um, no, we'll keep that. That's a lot better, yeah. Yeah, let's get those rewards. Let's move on. I would like to take the event. Let's see what we get. I lose an attack, but I can gain Devoted. Again, that, that the mark is just way too bad. We'll get two Holy Water. Um... Actually, that's fine. I'll lose that just to make sure that my next setup is pretty good. Uh, we'll take the extra healing here. So I got this for the next three fights, which is kind of nice. And straight away going into an elite fight. Making sure we kind of um, sort this out. Luckily... All this stuff is just like, oh yeah, you can only deal like one damage, you know, you can only trigger these once, so all the deplete effects are going to be very useful for me. At least that'll be the plan. And... Start of each round for the, of the next round for the next three com yeah combats. You gain foresight. It's pretty good. Let's make my three and move on. 
Man, that's a horrible roll, shall we say. Two goes there. Just gonna chuck the five there. Landed kind of nice, that one. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why I forget to like cast this all the time. Because like, I could cast this basically on turn on turn two, because you get the most out of it anyway. And you've got two spells that affects, so don't know why I wait till the turn three. Seems like a bit of a pointless um, thing for me to do all the time. Uh, check that in there. Do that. You now lose fifty life. Nice. Game on Bane Fire. The fact that I got to trigger all this again is hilarious to me. It's like, oh yeah, I'm done for the, the round, you know? Nothing else to worry about. But no, we still get to go again. I deal with that block with just this. That's like a hilarious thing. Our Kindle's already been used, so we must just cast this now. I get a three, we're gonna have three, chuck a three into there, deal the damage, do that three there to get armor. Chuck a one in there to get the vein. Four goes there, deal damage. There goes the six. Five for defense. Oh, and just use this so you die. <laughs> ah, this is hilarious. Uh, foresight is interesting, but I don't need it. Not really. And none of these are worthwhile to me. Iron Guard is interesting if I wanted to scale, but I'm scaling a different way, so it's not really interest, you know, it's not what I need or would want. I'll just take Brimstone for now, at least it's something I can get rid of. I'll throw that away, because Presence of Mind could be useful. Now... Do I just want to upgrade the damage on this? Or do we want to try and get more Radiant off? Like, that. that, that is my question. get more defense out of this. It is interesting, isn't it? I think this one's more consistent, so I'll always get it. Rather than just getting two from this, so I get an extra one on this every time I trigger it. We'll have to see. What is the other thing we've got in here? On how fast we get 20 blocks, interesting. Last full one, you get extra charge removed. See, the issue I have with this is just deplete the spell, then give it back, which is really annoying. It just gives them extra charges. Switching a spell within my inventory. We didn't talk about this. But no, let's reroll. Let's see what other choices are available. Plus one charge to a random spell. Slightly better than Red Candle, actually, in my opinion. Because I can just continuously use that every turn to get an extra charge and activate the fleet on either Inferno or the Sun Shield. So, yes, please. Um, I would prefer that. Then we'll go to a shop, see what's available. Uh, Meteor. Hmm, that's interesting. I would like to get this early enough that I can make a build around it. I really would. Uh, rewrite reality is interesting. Gain potency by a broken to another random spell. Glimpse of the void. Hmm, not really anything I want. East 
turn, gain one power. I receive a sap. Damn, shield is so good. But with the sap I want to go with and what we're capable of doing. This, I left after cast three spells, minus three and left to miss countdown, plus this, minus three and run a spell. Like, I'm going to be casting free countdown stuff continuously. So I think that is the way to go. This is great. I think I'd suffer way too much for just losing my block. So, yes. I guess we'll sell both of these now. We've got the opportunity to. Let's move on. So, what, what's our start here? I guess we'll do this first. We get a three. Do it again. We get another three. That's pretty good. Then three into three. Cast this. Oh, it's a random spell. Okay, so I'll wait two turns to get that in the way I want it to. Gotta remember that. That can go there, that can go there, that can go there. Get a four. See, this is the issue I have currently, but. I'm not fully blocked, so I need to put that in there. I don't take all the damage. I will use this now. So I take that thing. I'm oh, not the mute on my Inferno, that's so unfair. I feel incredibly offended by that. We'll take that thing out first. I don't care about it. It scales way too much for me to actually not be afraid of it. Cast three countdown. Ah. Take this guy out so we can actually start like whittling the rest of them down. I'm very annoyed that they um, muted my one spell that I really want to use. You know? I think it's completely unfair that they're able to do that. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a bit of fun here and like. You know, go mad with rolling die. There we go. I think that was good. That's a good turn. Are you guarding the weakest one? Oh, that's a shame. You really shouldn't. You probably shouldn't do that. Just leave this front one now vulnerable. Oh yeah, so before we start anything silly, do this first. Get two fives, get a three. Just got three into there, five into there for defense, another five in there for defense. Cast this, get the sun shield its thing back, put one in there as well. Off goes the brilliance. And get a four there. Check another two in there, see what happens. We'll get a three this time. Check a three in there. And the one. And the one. Turn that to an odd one. We are just going round in circles, aren't we? I guess we'll kill you off. So we're not worried about it later. Um, I am fully defended, so there's no point worrying about anything else. So I'm just getting that and check out there. And I could do that and just kill that off also, but I think it dies anyway to, um... Yeah. 
Actually, so you can deal damage. I always forget if you can or not. It's always a thing I forget. And then we got more dice to use. Crit five. I don't have a two, a normal two anyway. Don't know what I'm worried about, right? <laughs> I'm just dragging it out for no reason again. Deal two damage, two times, plus one to all countdown spells. See, again, I would like to do this. Seems interesting. Minus two to all countdown spells. Works both ways. See, that's a versatile spell. You can increase it to do more hits, but increase the countdown effect, or you can change it so it doesn't increase it, but it decreases them two times. So it yeah, everything is minus two, minus two. Channel mana is, is yeah. Next damage to all enemies. Destroy a random die. Nice two damage. How about start getting a critical? I guess I should increase my max health, does the same thing. At least practically does the same thing. Ah, uh, you and your silly corruption. I've never been a fan. I feel like it's an awful thing. So, let's set it all up here first. That's minus two, that goes back there, we get a three, you go there, you get a two, you go back in there, you're now a four. Goes there, can we get a three, get a one, and we're done. <laughs> It's just like, it's silly how much that actually works. We go two first, into the get a three, we get a one, everything's a one, so we'll just use this now. Put a one in there so we can actually use this to chuck out of that. One, one goes there, one, one goes there, one goes there, one goes there. Check the five there, check the one there. Ooh, two threes, that's delightful. Now, will you be kind enough to give me a four? Are oh, you beauty? Oh, that was fun. I will just chuck that in there now, get out of the way. I don't have to worry about it. And do we just do the six straight away? I think we'll die out of that. this, because it's triggered everything. Now we can trigger that again. We can do that. Yeah, this isn't infinite, is it? Like, I mean, there, there, there is some limitation to what I can actually do. I 
didn't quite make the changeover, but you do now. <laughs> I am enjoying this. I am really enjoying this build. It's like, it, I mean, a, win, a win's a win, right? But it is still fun to sit here and mess around like this with all this stuff. Keep forgetting I can do that. And I'm really bad at it for it as well. I would like forty five damage with them. Um, fire, so I am not going to complain. The fact that this can keep happening is absolutely hilarious to me, right? Like, I really do mean, like, it is absolutely hilarious that I can just kind of keep throwing more and more dice out and getting the exact rolls I need to make sure that I can make stuff happen. Um, you take 70, and you switch, yeah. Just take your 50 now, because I really don't care anymore. <laughs> huh. Oh yeah, that's... Yeah, you, you, you're really low now, that's it. My combustion is ready to go. That because it re -roll, it, um, rolls different die. That rolls different die as well. This resets everything so we can go again. Um, another odd one. One, two, and three. That goes there to your damage. That deals damage. And so does that. Oh, I get to die. Oh, delightful. I can be in the run spell. What? Wow. Oh, well. Uh. Bane fire kill. Now, that, that was a good run. I, I enjoyed that. Wasn't quite using the solidarity to actually do anything. Which you probably could have upgraded at some point but hey I will take a bane fire run that was fun I enjoyed that and yeah we had scaling and we were doing all right absolutely brilliant again if you do enjoy these videos do leave a like subscribe to see more and I'll see you all in the next one take care